Hey puppies. What's up guys? Josh here. Hope your day is going nice and good. Got my uh, gal Zoe here. Yeah, your camera shy. I get it. It's okay. Um, we got some interesting things happening today. First off, shout out to CFAO Doors. Awesome group of guys. They know how to fish and uh, coming real, real close with them. Big things coming for them in the future. But I got a new toy for my boat. Yeah, that's right. A Helix 5 Sonar GPS. Let me just uh, get in. Ow! Screw that. I'm gonna go around. Uh, oh yeah. Bass Assassin, of course. Love me my bass. But yeah, we're basically just gonna do a permanent transducer installation, uh, step by step video for you guys. I got a little 14 foot tinner with a 9.8 Merc on it. I'm gonna be putting it on the left side and I will explain why in the video and depending on your setup and your boat, what you can do differently, but I uh, hope you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and uh, cue the Epic Helix 5 montage. <laughs> So, transducer, some screws to the transducer mount, helix, transducer mount, gimbal bracket, gimbal knobs, power cable, uh, that's about what you get with the box. I just cut this piece of Teflon, three inches by eight inches long, and that will go right there. So you need that, you need a drill, some water prevention outdoor use silicone now silicone gun to get started so we got Austin here the screws too long it would penetrate me boat so now we got to cut it down drill a pilot hole and uh, yeah Scratch up, yeah it is. Ray hypodermic. So scratch this up. So I'm gonna put the rough side here because it'll help. And that's just gonna hold it in place and uh, tighten up. And I got silicone on my GoPro, waterproof. Uh, we're gonna let this sit for about half an hour, and we're gonna go fish in uh, in my pond. Let's all see on what's in there, and maybe if we catch something, uh, we'll show you guys. But yeah, so basically. Scratch up the plate, put silicone on it, went in opposite directions on the boat going this way, and then on the plate going up and down. And when that's fastened down, we will screw the transducer mount on and figure out my angle on the boat. All right, guys, so have two bolts going through, put silicone inside the pilot holes that we drilled beforehand so it keeps it water sealed. And on the back side, same thing, two uh, nylon lock nuts siliconed as well boom boom 
and that's going to stay in place. I'm going to go around and put a bead around the whole outside and that should cure and seal it completely. Alright guys, take it and put a bead all the way around, top, bottom, and the sides. And I'm going to go over it with my finger and make sure it's completely sealed. And make sure the bottom too. And that is the final product for that. All right, now I'm gonna put the bracket on the board here, the plate. Um, it's really important that you're gonna have this so your transducer's in the water at all times. So when you're in current and you're sitting there jigging or something, it's still always gonna be in the water no matter what. And the best too is when you're actually driving that it's still in the water, you're not getting any turbulence from your motor. So they recommend to go 15 inches to the right or left. I'm gonna go to the left because I sit on the right hand side. So I'm gonna be jigging this way behind it and my transducer is going to be over there so I'll actually be able to see my jig on the sonar so bear with me here I'm going to drill a pilot hole I've cut the screws to the proper length so it doesn't puncture through and uh, yeah we should be good just bear with me here like I said All right guys, that's kind of off that way, but it's okay because they actually make this a little bit bigger. So you can take it, twist it, bring it up and down, and customize it depending on the angle of your transducer that you're gonna need. So I'm gonna figure that out and tighten it up and then we'll get the transducer on there. All right, so now that I kind of got it level to where I want it, this third hole here is to seal the deal with the third bolt. So I'm gonna pre-drill that pilot hole and get that in there. I don't think you need to watch that, same as before. Alright guys, so I got the Humminbird transducer here with me. So just sonar, no down imaging or side imaging. It's got these little clips in here, little clip right there. And then these little rivets will help me adjust the angle when I put it on, so bear with me here. Squeeze that in there. Get in. Probably get up one. That looks good. Put the bolt through, put this in here, and it's got a little star built in, so now you just take this and it'll tighten right into the nut. Now that is locked on nice and tight. It's good to go, nice and level. It looks pretty level with the bolt right now. All right guys, that's basically the finished product. So let's go over it one more time. So Teflon plate, two screws, the only screws that go in the boat. These screws do not go in the boat. So everything is tight sealed by silicone. Transducer is level, playing down with the boat. It is on tight. I hop up over here. Hop on. So I just got a little clip holding all the extra wire for the transducer, a little 12 volt battery behind it, and woo, that's awesome. We are ready to rock, and we are ready to roll. So, hope you like the video, if you want me to do more like this, I enjoy doing it, it's fun, keeps me going and uh, gets more content, so hope you like it, make sure you subscribe, like the video once again. 
Follow TFA Outdoors on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Manitoba Fishing Adventures. Stay tuned, keep your lines tight, and uh, good luck fishing.